everyone, it's Tammy, and I'm going to make some beef stroganoff today, but first I want, I'm going to do it in the crock pot, but first I want my skillet hot, and I'm going to brown the stew meat. So I just, I'm going to put a little bit of oil in here, a couple tablespoons, and then I have about a quarter of a cup of flour in a Ziploc bag that I'm going to add some of my favorite spices to, some anti no nos and... Let's see. Um, I might be all that I added to that because I'm going to make this pretty flavorful. I'm also going to add a little bit of butter to this pan just because butter is yummy. The oil will make it not burn quickly, but it is on a pretty high heat. So I have anti no nos which is salt, pepper, garlic in here with some flour. And I'm going to just add my stew meat to this Ziploc bag. And so that's what I'm doing over here at the side. Sorry you can't see it. Some of these pieces are rather big. I probably should have cut them down, but that's all right. We'll make it work. So I'm just going to shake this in this bag, get these coated a little bit with some flour, and of course the anti no -nos. Sorry, you can't really see it. That's all I'm doing. Now I'm going to add them to this pan. Some of the pieces are rather big. After these are browned on all the sides, I'm going to take them out and then I'm just going to add some onions, garlic, and mushrooms to the pan and deglaze it with some red wine. Okay, so now I'm back at the crock pot and I put the beef that I have already uh, browned in here. And then I'm going to put four cups of beef broth in here. And I use the Better Than Bouillon, so I have stirred in my bouillon into two cups of water. And then I'm going to add two more cups of water to make sure I get all this out of there. to add this wonderful mix of garlic and onion and mushroom that I had on the stove. And I'm going to try to make sure I get all of that yummy stuff into here. I did deglaze the pan when I put the uh, onions in, but I might go ahead and just do a real quick deglazing again with some red wine because we need a couple of tablespoons of red wine added to that anyway. Alright, 
So I did just a couple of tablespoons of red wine. I deglazed it the best that I could with that. Now I'm going to add a couple tablespoons of Dijon mustard and a couple tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. And this is on high. I'm going to let this cook for four hours on high. All right, and that is it until four hours from now. And then at four hours, we're gonna do a few other things, including make some egg noodles to go with it. And then also we need to make a little, make this creamier. So I'm just going to leave this on here for four hours and I will be back. Okay, so it has been the four hours. I'm just going to take this off. And this is still warm and it looks delicious. And I need to add a quarter cup of this liquid to a quarter cup of cornstarch so that I can make a little slurry that I will add back into that pot to help thicken it up. So I'm just getting a fork and you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna dip this in, I think. Pull up some of that liquid and just mix it. All right. So putting that back in there. And this is gonna help thicken this up a little bit. I'm also going to add one and a half cups of sour cream and a can of cream of mushroom soup. And in the background, I have some water that's going it's on the stove to set to boil so that I can cook some egg no noodles. So here's my can of cream of mushroom. You know what, before I do that, I'm going to do a cup and a half of this and then I'll use the same scraper in the soup, but I don't wanna do the soup first because then I'd have a dirty scraper. This is two cups, so I'm gonna get about a cup and a half out of here. And then, This can of cream of mushroom. And I have more mushrooms. I was kind of wondering if I should add them, but I don't know. And I, maybe I should have cut these up or used sliced mushrooms, whatever you like. I kind of like big chunky mushrooms, but I kind of like that in like stew and stuff, so I don't know. This does look nice and thick. I am glad that I sliced or cut that meat up a little bit more. I'm gonna use my fork and just kind of whisk that up in my Stand by, my water's beginning to boil. This should be a song. <laughs> should be both that should sing it. All right, they are, or the egg noodles are in. I'm just gonna whisk this up. Maybe I should have whisked up, I don't know, it doesn't really matter, but the cream of mushroom soup, maybe I should have mixed that in with the slurry. I don't know how that would have worked. But that's what kind of is making it kind of lumpy bumpy. All 
Or maybe if I used a real whisk instead of a fork. So many things I could do differently, but I'm sitting here doing it my way. <laughs> Look, I poked up. Mmm. <laughs> Some good on my finger. It is very good. Oh my goodness, this is going to be good. I do feel like there's a lot of sauce and not a lot of things. I think I might go ahead and add some more mushrooms. I'm just adding the whole thing. I mean, why not? It's beef stroganoff, for goodness gracious. I'm going to turn this back on. Just to get those mushrooms a little bit cooked. It won't stay on very long, and I'm only doing it because I just now added those mushrooms. If I would have added them before, I wouldn't have even worried about it. All right, so I'm going to let this cook with the lid on while my egg noodles are cooking, which is only going to take about 10 or 12 minutes. And then I will be back when I plated it all up. 